if you have a big gulp of, of soda and a bag of chips, nobody bats an eye. But if you show up with a pre-prepared, you know, lunch that's healthy one way or the other, then people give you a ration of shit about it. It's tough to stay on any diet, like other than the junk food mass produced diet, everybody seems to pull that off pretty easily, but uh, affecting any type of dietary change is reasonably hard for folks. And, you know, people are successful generally if they either go a low fat approach with, with it, all, all things being equal. If you normalize protein and make sure protein is adequate, people are successful on low fat diets. People are successful on low carb diets. The people who are almost uniformly not successful from the perspective of losing weight and improving their health are the folks that are in that middle ground where they're trying to eat both fat and carbs at the same time. And it, the, the reasons for that are, are, can get complex, but it really kind of boils down to the neuroregulation of appetite and how many flavor combinations that we can experience. If you pick one of these tracks, either low carb or low fat, it limits your palate options to some degree, like ice cream and pizza are what they are because they're a combination of both fat and carbohydrate. And so when you pick one of these tracks, you kind of limit these fat carb combo foods, which tend to be very nutrient dense. They're easy to overeat. So the, the reason why it's tough to, to stick with that, it, you know, uh, culturally, a lot of these super tasty foods are, are important for like family gatherings and celebrations. Uh, when you roll into a work environment, if you have a big gulp of, of soda and a bag of chips, Nobody bats an eye, but if you show up with a pre-prepared, you know, lunch that's healthy one way or the other, then people give you a ration of shit about it. And so there's all this kind of kind of cultural baggage around that. And then also just at a, a kind of evolutionary biology level, if we were still living out in a free environment and, a, a, you know, a bag of chips and a, a tankard of soda arrived, that would be a huge thing. That would that would be a huge win. But the problem is that we can go get that every moment of every day, all the time. And so we just tend to overeat. So there's just a, a ton of different features about our modern world that make any type of diet and lifestyle change pretty challenging.